I was curious on what would happen if I unlocked this device and left the updates running. So this phone with the black backdrop cover, which is the same same model with the phone that you are going to compare. Stick to the video to find the limitations and the interesting side. I'm also going to highlight the advantages and the disadvantages of eliminating the software update so it can be beneficial to you or it can be pain in the this phone of which with the blue backdrop cover of which i unlocked it six months ago and it has been running smoothly since then secured by Knox. wow while the other end when the phone finishes booting it always display the error called into download update the phone was disconnected from the internet and the download could not complete something like that but when you go to the settings you'll always still get the polite notification a software update is available of which you could either click later or update and you could either update via your mobile data or wi-fi it's up to you to decide they give you two options and as you can see it's marked n of which new update is available comment down below the android version that you have been enjoying using the most did you know that you can always roll back if you are let's say you're using android 13 you could roll back and use android 12 whenever you wanted as long as your phone was manufactured back then when it supported that version when you look at these two forms as you can see we are on the settings panel and you all have the same same option as you can see the notification display wallpaper themes same same applies to both two phones let's say the location the google and the accounts and backup also one phone can support biometrics and security while other one if i dare set a lock screen my phone will be stuck on starting android and worst you can find it doesn't have wipe data factor reset and that happens when you don't click on disable kg here we have general management apps accessibility about phone but have you noticed that software update and user manual are not available on this device software update and user manual are not available on this device they were completely kicked out and when i click on software update you can tell that the last update was installed on 15th july 2023 at 13 37 hours and you have options to auto download of our wi-fi you can toggle that on or you can use mobile data and charges may apply it's up to you to select the choice of your need but before installing the update make sure your phone has enough battery power another tip is that if you ever wanted to know if a phone is kg unlocked this is what you're going to check for and it works on all devices but if the phone is unlocked the recent buttons will never work no matter how much you try the home buttons will work smoothly as usual but the recent buttons forget about it there are permanent methods of which they work all recent home and back work but it's a bit costly here is so what is going to make a little difference to understand why my biometrics work and this doesn't work so when you go to the apps then you go to the filter panel and show the system apps then sort by name or maybe size and then when i try to search for the system ui it is not available on this device so therefore when the device is trying to boot it won't encounter the system ui making it crash to starting android but as you can see this is a system ui of which it was disabled you can also download a custom system UI from Google Chrome. They are available a bunch of them. Just look for your suitable Android version, download, install, run. It can change the system settings, it can appear on top. The memory used average in the last three hours is only 13 MB and it has used 0% of battery, of which it's disabled so it's not able to use either of my power 
at the end of my space. It's just there, disabled. It might function, but not fully. A lot of options will disappear. It will not function fully as it usually do. When you look at this device, when you insert a USB-C cable, let me show you something real quick that I find interesting. What I was talking about. When you don't click on disable KG, the moment you try to enter recovery mode by pressing volume up button and the power button, make sure USB is inserted. Then when you release the power button, but keep pressing the volume up button, you'll enter recovery mode. You'll find a bunch of options. Wipe cache partition, mount system, view recovery logs, run graphic text, run local test, all those bunch of options. But wipe data factor reset is still missing why this is when you don't click on disable kg lock i've realized this is what happened but when you look at this other phone of which i disabled everything that is required and necessary and i also gave instructions on how to do it so when I press the volume up button and the power button, then when I see the Samsung logo, I will release the power button and keep pressing the volume up button. And this phone will dive into recovery mode. This phone, Web Data Factor Reset, is still available, meaning I can reset the phone but if i reset the phone and the phone locks the web data factory reset will lost the web data factory reset option will get lost but i will so i'll therefore be forced to do an ndrs an ndrs resets everything also you can see factor reset i'm allowed to perform a full reset on this device other than the other device which has limited options, I can't erase. When I try to call someone, it will go through, not on this phone, but on the black phone with the black cover. This one with the black cover doesn't work on calls, but you can call, but you're not going to receive calls due to KG lock. My name is Arnold. And I wish you the very best.